Hello, I'm Kajin Tapu, your psychology professor, and today we're going to talk about mental development. Mental development is the process of building up mental structures. You can have constant speed, be accelerated, decelerated, or stopped. Full development is called maturation, a process taking place during adulthood, after childhood and adolescence. The young adult, between 18 and 35 years, forms a family and enters a profession. The middle adult, between 35 and 65 years, attains stability and fulfillment and tutors the young. And the late adult, over 65, becomes professionally disengaged and associates increased wisdom with a slow decline in memory and attention. Cognitive development has been described by Swiss psychologist Jean Piaget and affective development by Austrian physician Sigmund Freud. The stages of cognitive development are the following. The first stage is sensory motor stage between the birth and three years of age, infancy and toddler years. It's based on simple reactions. At this stage, the child realizes if an object is taken from him and begins to look for it. He learns that when covered, objects and people remain where they are. This is the notion of object permanence. The preoperative stage is the second stage between three and six years, the preschool years. It is characterized by the use of symbols. At this stage, children think that all objects are animate. They believe everyone thinks like them, and they do not understand all alternative points of view. The third, the third stage is the stage of concrete operations between 7 and 12 years old, the school years. It is the stage when the child realizes that objects do not change their properties over time if people do not act upon them. Thus, if at six years the same water poured into a thin and tall vessel seems more than when it was poured in a short and wide bowl, at the age of eight, the child says that the two vessels contain the same amount of water. This is the volume conservation. Later, mass conservation also occurs and then conservation of number. The fourth stage of mental development is the stage of formal operations between 12 and 18 years, the teenage years or adolescence. It involves the formulation of hypotheses and testing them, causal thinking, if-then type. For example, if I take my umbrella, then I will not get wet because of the rain. The stages of sexual and affective development are the following. The first is the oral stage between birth and one year of age. It is dominated by satisfying emotional needs through sucking and hugging. Now, children have a tendency to put everything in their mouth. The second stage is the anal stage from age of one to three years is when the baby gets pleasure through defecation and likes to get dirty but gradually acquires self-control of their sphincters. Attachment to mother appears in this stage. The third stage is the phallic stage from three to six years. It is characterized by love for the opposite sex parent and hatred or envy toward same-sex parent. The child is playing with her own genitals and is concerned about gender differences. The fourth stage is the latency period. The latency period lasts between 7 and 12 years of age and is dominated by school activity and the child's needs and feelings go into a relative stagnation. The fifth and last stage of sexual and affective development is the genital stage 
puberty and adolescence and is characterized by sexual maturation and usually the emergence of desire towards the opposite sex. At this stage, there is an opposition crisis in which the teenager has a tendency to contradict everyone. Teens develop self-image and complex relationships with others. There are also several, several patterns of personal evolution, proactivity and self-determination. The evolu evolutive, proactive self-determined pattern is characteristic to the free person who changes herself and the world she lives in according to her own projects. Another pattern is the stagnant, proactive, self-determined pattern. The person who sacrifices her own evolution in order to invest her entire creative freedom in transforming the, the world, the selfless creators. The evolutive, reactive, self-determined. The person who uses her freedom mainly to determine her own evolution or personal achievement. Another pattern is the evolutive, reactive, externally determined pattern. The person affected by compelling biological factors or environmental events, positive or negative, that restrain her freedom. For example, disease, serious disease, or war, or winning the big pot. The stagnant, reactive, externally determined pattern is the submissive, responsive, and complying person who lives in a non-stimulating environment, the so-called dull existence. Thank you, and see you next time to another lecture of psychology.